Hello, everyone. It's great to be here and share our work with all of you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm a research engineer working in the Corporate Development Group Department at Tencent, China. My team primarily focuses on unbiased estimation of the post-click conversion rate in real-time bidding scenarios for Alliance Advertising. Today, I'll be presenting our work, which aims to address the issue of sample selection bias. To begin, traditional conversion estimation models are trained exclusively in the click space, while inference requires deployment in the entire impression space. This inconsistency between the training and inference data distributions arises due to user self-selection. Events with a higher click propensity are more likely to enter the click space, while those with a lower propensity are excluded. However, events with low click propensity are not incapable of conversion. They may not be clicked due to factors such as ad placement or style, but if clicked, they have the potential for conversion. This results in a lack of informative data from this subset of events, leading to sample selection bias. Existing mainstream approaches mainly revolve around causal estimators such as inverse propensity weighting or doubly robust learning, which aim to eliminate the influence of bias by taking the reciprocal of the estimated click rates. We have extended these methods by introducing adversarial learning techniques to further address the sample selection bias issue, which we refer to as the ACM model. Specifically, we firstly conducted bias and variance analysis on existing DR estimators and found that inaccurate estimation of either component leads to an increase in the upper bound of conversion rate estimation generalization, resulting in a decrease in the accuracy of conversion rate estimation. To tackle this, we proposed a joint optimization of the bias and variance terms. Furthermore, to incorporate information from non-clicked events and eliminate the impact of click bias, we designed a dual adversarial module consisting of space-level and task-level adversarial components. In the space-level adversarial module, we model the counterfactual space, assuming that all non-clicked events are clicked, and use adversarial learning to align the data distribution of non-clicked events with the click space. In the task-level adversarial module, we first utilized adversarial learning to capture the invariance between CTR and CVR tasks, and then applied orthogonal loss to remove the invariance from the CVR embeddings, thereby eliminating the influence of click factors. We conducted extensive experiments on publicly available datasets like OLLICCP and Tencent Alliance Advertising Platform. The results demonstrate that ACM outperforms several state-of-the-art methods. In conclusion, the contributions of our work can be summarized as follows. Firstly, we propose a novel adversarial enhanced causal multitask framework to deal with the selection bias issue for post-click conversion rate estimation. Our framework seamlessly integrates adversarial learning and causal multitask learning. Secondly, we present a theoretical analysis of the bias and variance inherent in DR estimators and design a novel causal estimator to effectively minimize both bias and variance from the bias-variance trade-off perspective. Thirdly, we present a novel dual adversarial module operating on both the space and task level. It can denoise the click propensity and capture counterfactual embeddings to optimize the CVR task. What's more, we have released a high-quality large-scale dataset named Tank Union Ads, used for selection bias research in the advertising field. We hope our datasets can serve as a benchmark to facilitate the research of selection bias in the recommender systems. Well, I've covered the points that I needed to present today.